All right, so we're going to look at the glass to see if there's any canning stuff here. And looky here, my friends. They have the vintage jelly jars. These are canning. I have three of these, and I wanted them at ours, and we were out, so I'm going to get two more. And we're going to do our great jelly with the vintage canning jars. Buddy, and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Teresa, and a little bit about my channel is if you have a low income or you want to learn to live abundantly on very little money, you've come to the right place. I share with you all kinds of recipes, all kinds of lifestyle skills, all kinds of things that you can live abundantly on very little money. Today, I'm going to teach you how you can take Dollar Tree jelly jars and make some jelly for yourself. This is a not canning recipe, or a canning recipe depends on how you perceive it. So let me show you why. Take a very old fashioned recipe. We're gonna use paraffin wax, and that way we can preserve our jelly and we don't have to use those costly lids, the lids that are becoming in shortage right now. I wanna share with you all kinds of old fashioned ways of living, all kinds of ways that is thinking outside the box, things that your grandma, your great grandma would have done every day. A month and a half ago, I harvested my own grapes and here I have my own Concord grape juice, but you can just go to the grocery store and you can get your own grape juice. Just make sure you get the unsweetened kind. You don't want to get the sweetened kind because for making jams and jellies, we need to add our own sugar to it. We got a bunch of these jars. Now, these jars I call replicas of jelly jars that were back in the 1900s. I don't know exactly what they would claim they are, but to me, this looks like a jelly jar. It is the old fashioned paraffin wax jelly jars. So let me show you a original. So this is an original. And this is the original lid. Now I'm sure you can use you can use these for hundreds of things, but today we're going to make jelly with them. These came from the Dollar Tree, so we're going to put our jars aside for a moment. And now to make the jelly, it is so easy. Making homemade jelly is the easiest canning recipe that you'll ever find. This is something that's great for beginners as well. My recipe calls for four cups of grape juice and seven and a half cups of sugar and two pouches of pectin. We're going to go ahead and add all of our sugar. Yes, that is a lot of sugar, but for this recipe, that's what it calls for. I'm going to add four cups of juice. We're going to go ahead and turn our little stove top on. It's my induction cooktop. I really enjoy having this. It just gives you an extra burner and when you need it. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring this up to a slow boil. In the meantime, while this is cooking, I'll show you what we do for the paraffin wax. The paraffin wax, it looks like this. You can buy this at Walmart or any grocery store. My thrift store often carries it, so I get it for like a quarter. Now it is rather expensive in different people's areas. Some people's dollar stores, like the dollar family dollar, carries this very reasonable. It just depends on your state. We're gonna go ahead and we melt that in a double boiler. As you see, I just put my own double boiler together. Making jams and jellies, you don't want to double the recipe because usually it doesn't turn out very good. So I am going to make a double recipe, but I'm going to have to do it in two different batches. It's coming to a full boil. Now we're going to go ahead and add two envelopes of pectin. Did you know that pectin is made from apples? A lot of people are going to ask me, can you make this without pectin? I'm sure you could, but I'm not very skilled in that, and so I always use pectin. I also want to point out this is not USDA approved. Now, it was approved back in the early 1900s, and then it became non-approved. But if you know the scientific facts of making jams and jelly with a high sugar content, it is fine using the method with the paraffin wax because jams and jellies, the mold does not go throughout them like it would if you would have low 
acid foods. I really won't get into that because some people really get themselves in a uproar over it, but I'm just stating that I make it this way. All right, now, if you don't like having any of the, uh, if you don't like having the top part where it's like all frothy, you can add a little bit of butter and that will clarify your jams. Now, it really doesn't matter. It just doesn't look as pretty when you pour it in the jars. So we'll go ahead and wait until that butter is melted good. Now all we have to do is pour it into our jars because it is ready to go. Beautiful. I just love these thick jars. They are amazing. And most people are telling me that their Dollar Tree has it. I don't know if they'll have them next year, so I went and made sure I got enough from year to year. Also, grape jelly is good in making homemade meatballs. You can use grape jelly in all kinds of wonderful recipes. This does look like a larger jar to put so much jelly in. You can use jelly for all kinds of sauces and jelly lasts almost forever in the refrigerator but if canning lids are low at your area here's a way that you can preserve some food without using any canning lids all right so I am actually going to be baking another batch and I'll show you when the next step is putting the wax on. We're going to let this sit for about 10 minutes and then, then we'll go ahead and we'll pour our wax on top. It's very important you have to have the wax on top because you need to have a barrier from the air. So don't think that you don't need to have the wax on top. Now if you are making jams and jellies just to put in the freezer or the refrigerator you do not have to add the paraffin wax. But if you want this shelf stable you have to have paraffin wax just cleaning up here a little bit and I want to point something out to you all so this is the Bonnie I think it says Bonnie I forget you all know how to pronounce it but this is the jelly that you can buy in the store but take a look how the jar looks okay the thickness the way the jar looks and take a look at the Dollar Tree jars the same design same thickness I would be really surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if the same manufacturer makes them. I know it could be coincidental, but it sure seems the same. Also, these are made in the USA. They call them storage jars, but they are so thick and heavy. It looks the same to me, and I think it's perfect to can with these. With jams and jellies, that means. Just jams and jellies of you who watch my videos seen me do this numerous times we're just gonna take one small coat of wax the wax will always stay on the top and it's very easy to tell sometimes I do it in double layers All right, looks good. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just wait a little bit and then we'll see how far the wax layers went. All right, so this is what the jelly looks like. It's turned out perfect. And all we have to do is put the lids on it and put it in our pantry and it will last you for many years. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and think outside the box. Take a look at Dollar Tree. You can have a lot of items from there. Bye, everybody.